10 games are remaining in the Premier League title race between Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester City. And it is a scorcher. Excuse the England shirt, by the way, lads. We're playing tonight. It's going to be boring like watching paint dry. Southgate ball is not it. But uh, yeah, we're going for it anyway. Anyway, the race for the title is well and truly on. Who's the favourite? I've done some brilliant expert tactical analysis and i'm gonna let you guys let you guys know who i think is gonna win i'm gonna be looking at three different areas which we uh could convert go through we've got opponents average position the points that the three teams have gained against the opponents they're playing in the final 10 and also the average points in the last 10 games of each season for liverpool arsenal and man city so basically how they've done in the last few seasons of the Premier League running, obviously Arsenal have had a title race, Liverpool have had a title race, Arsenal have had a Champions League run, and Man City have always been in the title race. So, kicking it off with round one, and we're going for that head-to-head. -head. Sorry if I look down, it's because I'm looking at the stats to make sure I've got them all right. So, we've got head-to-head -head for the last three meetings average points. So, that is, for Arsenal, they've got Man City next. So, the average points they've picked up, in the last three times they've played City, obviously. City's vice versa for Arsenal. And Liverpool have got their games as well. As you can see, Arsenal have got the most points from the teams that they've played in the previous three. Well done, Arsenal. Um, averaging at 22.6 points per game. They have absolutely smashed it. Against City on the other end, not so much. Only one point from the last three. Well, one point per game against City. In other words, they've won one and lost two. Um, or it could have been in three draws, but in their case, it's 1-1 one, one earlier this season and lost the two previous meetings in the season four. Only Premier League games, by the way. Liverpool, on the other hand, um, are at the bottom of the pile. 20.4 points. Uh, again, not too much of a difference, but when we're talking about fine margins in the Premier League, it could be all the difference. Man City, as you can see, they're, they're point one point of Arsenal. So it really, looking at this stat, it's going to be between Arsenal and City. And it's going to come down to their game. It, uh, that's how it looks like it's going to go, looking at this stat. With all that being said, though, at the end of round one, as it were, Arsenal looking the favourites to win the league. They, um, like I say, have got the most points. They're also in first place currently, one point ahead of Liverpool and City. So that could be vital. As I say, a big deciding factor will be if they win that game against City. In round two, we are all about looking at how hard the fixtures are going to be for each of the clubs. So we got Arsenal, Liverpool and City again. We'll run through them. Arsenal have got the hardest running technically. It's quite close. It's actually really fine margins between all three. The average table position of the teams they're playing against are is 9.2. The main ones, Manchester City, Chelsea, Tottenham and Man U. Uh, and of course, Aston Villa. Um, who, So, you know, about half of their games are really, really big games. Which is going to make this so exciting. In second, we've got Manchester City, who of course have got Arsenal to play with first. They've also got Villa and Tottenham, uh, but the other teams they've got are faced that are quite hard are West Ham and Nottingham, uh, not Nottingham Forest, West Ham and Wolves. Um, so yeah, not, not an easy run in there either. And then finally, Liverpool, who have got technically the easiest run in, even though we do pick up the least amount of points against these sides, so... You know, it evens out um, an average of 10.1 position on the table. Uh, hard games look like Manchester United and Brighton. Definitely Aston Villa and Tottenham, as you can see, that's later in the season as well. It may be all over by that point. Who knows? That was only three games to go. Um, obviously, West Ham, not an easy game either. And there's a derby against Everton in there as well. So it's not going to be easy no matter what. All three sides pretty close on this one. However, looking at round two, it's all even. Liverpool, Arsenal, and Man City all on four points. Obviously, first, easiest, Liverpool. Three points for the win. City, second, two times in a row. And Arsenal were first in the bottom as well, like Liverpool. Um, so, really, moving into the final round, it is all square as to who has got the best chance of winning the Premier League. Round three. Well, looking at this, that is all about how the teams have performed over the last 10 games of the season, for the last three seasons. Basically showing how much of a tough belly have they got you know is it soft like Arsenal's or is it strong like Liverpool's and City's basically because as you can see from the stats Arsenal have got a very low average points per last game 10 games of the season over the last three years 16.6 .6. comparing it just to last season where 
they were probably at their strongest side and had that little collapse at the end where they say they didn't bottle, but the stats show. Um, you know, they won four, drew three, and lost three compared to City's won eight, drew one, and lost one, which is, you know, and City lost that one when the league was over. They'd already won it. Um, so it really does show how Arsenal have struggled at the end of the season. And if they were to lose they to City at the start, would that crumble reoccur or have they learned from their past mistakes? Because that is entirely possible. They might have learned not to, you know, chuck it away just because one game don't go your way. Don't mean there isn't time to claw it back. As you can see, City and Liverpool have never had a perfect run in in the last three years on their last 10 games. So even if Arsenal do lose one, they could definitely come back into it. With that being said, you can see Liverpool and City, it's very close between them two teams. Um... Liverpool, in fact, haven't lost in the last 10 games of the last three seasons, which is, uh, you know, gives me a bit of a confidence boost, although we do have a very tough run in, as you've seen with our uh, average points in the first slide that we showed you. Um, and City are City, you know, they're, they're pretty damn consistent, 21, 26, 25 points. Um, you can see that they're going to be pretty damn good. But overall, guys, Liverpool, therefore, are statistically on these stats, the favourites to win the Premier League, uh, coming through with seven points, Man City with six, and Arsenal with five on our little point scoring system. Um, that being said, there are other stats that will come into it, the games and everything, everything will come into it. It's a huge end of the season. If you guys want another video like this, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what stats you would like me to focus on for that, because we can put some stuff together, I'm sure, and figure out, you know, how we can do it. Arsenal fans. We can try to skew it in your favour, basically, is what I'm saying. But, um, yeah, if you're new, make sure you drop a like, drop a follow up, uh, drop a subscription down below. Press that button. Uh, hit the notifications as well. You know what? This is two videos in a week. That is incredible for me. And I look to continue getting on. This has been international break as well, which is a boring time. Probably why I find the found the time to do it. But, um, yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching. If you made it this far, you're an absolute legend. And I will see you all in another one. Peace.